Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And it is definitely time for another daily dose of dismal Disney. Mm -hmm. We are going to talk about all the backlash. Oh, and there is a lot of it. Oh my God. All the backlash from Disney fans over the uh, D23 announcements. For those of you who have not been paying attention, who are not following this, Disney did announce a lot of new IP themed lands coming to its various parks. However, those lands are coming at a great cost to Disney parks fans. Cars Land has been confirmed to be replacing the Rivers of America mm -hmm. and Tom Sawyer Island, the Magic Kingdom, which people are furious about. And now it looks like Muppet Vision is going to be replaced by Monsters, Inc. And there are Disney fans now, Muppet fans, trying to scramble to save it. But I don't think Disney cares. Disney doesn't care. And the thing is now, we don't know for sure yet, do we, if it's going in that area? Yeah, There's it's like, like three like, I would four say different it's, places. I would say it's like a 95% likelihood. And judging by the concept art, now we said in the previous video. We said as soon as they showed the art. There, there are two different scenarios. One of them looks like the launch bay, and the other one is definitely Grand Avenue going into Galaxy's Edge, which would be the, the Muppet Theater in the Muppet Courtyard area. So I think, I think they're looking at, because the rumor I had heard was it was going to be the uh, Muppets Theater, um, Star Tours, and Indiana Jones taken out, and then there's some extra land back there. People are like, that's not enough land. I'm like, well, why else would they put an Indiana Jones attraction in Animal Kingdom? Yeah, unless they're going to get rid of it. Put that over there, yeah. Yeah, so um, I think it's a, it's a terrible idea. It's a it's a good indication of where Disney is now as a company. It's no longer the Walt Disney Company. It's Disco run by Bob Iger. I think if it was the Animation Courtyard and it was Launch Bay, it would make a lot more sense. It would make sense over there because you already have, you know, Toy Story Land. Yeah. It could lead into and there's a Pixar stuff over that way, and it would it would make a lot more sense to put it there. It that would. being said, <laughs> everybody's worried they're going to put their side. I mean, because that it's just sitting empty. I mean, a lot of those buildings, it's launch bay and stuff, but a lot of it's just sitting there. Like, it's not even really being used. No. It makes them, and they have that Disney Junior show that really no one goes to. So over there makes the most sense. But uh, for whatever reason, people are convinced that it's going to be Muppets that get the axe. So let's uh, let's talk about this. It's even trending on uh, Twitter today. I know. You know people are, are very upset about it. Um, I, you know, Disney doesn't know what to do with the Muppets. They really don't. So I think they're just going to be like, yeah, you know what? We're just going to get rid of them. <laughs> That's, you know, problem solved. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, you get woohoo if you do. Woohoo. So this is, uh, this come from the wrap. And again, this seems to confirm a lot of what, uh, Disney fans have, have speculated that it's probably going to be Muppet Vision. 3D. They said during the D23 showcase, artwork for proposed Monsters mm -hmm. Inc. theme land was shown that would feature a coaster themed to the door chase from the first movie. Again, this is like a 15 year old concept. This has been around for a long time, along with monsterfied shopping and dining locations to be housed within Hollywood Studios. Now, again, I want to point out though, other than the door coaster, which I think they've had that art for a while because they were planning on it for a while or whatever, you really weren't seeing a whole lot. So I'm. I, like other things had like we're gonna we already know we're starting to work on this. Yeah. This one is is it gonna go through? Because I used an old rumor and they pulled this one out of the the circular file and then slapped it up. Is it or is it just them trying to pee on it to make it look like they're doing something? I, I don't know. My um, I don't know. Let, let let's let's look at what he's saying here. But uh, apparently, they do believe there are two different potential well, that's, locations. That's the first for thing you said. Yeah. When you looked at the art, you said there's two different places here. One is definitely animation courtyard. One's Muppet courtyard. You said that as soon as you saw the artwork. Yeah. I said, this isn't the same thing. Cause even the, uh, the main show building, which is probably the coaster, the monsters university building, it looks different in both pieces. One, one of it's much larger, which would be the launch bay. Mm -hmm. And the other one would be the, uh, the Muppet theater would be the entrance to the coaster. But yeah, he said where the monsters Inc land goes within Hollywood studios is not disclosed. According to a source with knowledge of the situation, there was alternate artwork that was going to be shown during this presentation that would have more directly pinpointed that Muppet vision was on the chopping block at the last minute. That artwork was swapped for something more nebulous. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's because Josh Jamar didn't want to get booed again. 
there were fears internally that Josh Demaro, the unflappable and widely beloved chairman of Disney Experiences, would get booed. Yes, as he delivered the news. Now he was almost booed for the car Frontierland. Thing. If and they the, had said where they were putting it, he would have, because people were like, "Beyond Thunder Mountain, okay." But then when they saw that, they were like, "Wait, wait, 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 no." Yeah, uh, they waited until after D23 was over to drop the news, and people already knew. I mean, you could see the uh, where Thunder Mountain was at. They're like, that is the view of Thunder Mountain from Tom Sawyer Island. Oh, my God. But it's like, but wait, there's not enough room on Tom Sawyer Island for cars. Oh, okay, we'll just fill in the rivers of America. Because that makes so much sense in Frontierland to have cars. I, it it's makes... going to butt it right up against the Haunted Mansion, Liberty Square. It's not going to make any sense. Yeah. So Disney declined to comment for the rap story. The Jim Henson Company did not return the rap's request for comment. <laughs> Shocker. Uh, hours before the event, an insider told the rap that the ride would be placed within the animation courtyard, an area of the Hollywood Studios Park that formerly served as the uh, point between Disney MGM theme park and the area where actual production was okay, being done. Because I, I want to mention something really quick. So they were t somebody was talking during the D23 event on Sunday, and they said they asked, they asked, like the people like, where they were going to put it. Mm -hmm. And they said, oh, we don't know yet. So it's interesting. Like they had one, they were going to do one thing. They probably told some people got negative response, switched out the artwork at the last minute to keep Josh DeMar from getting booed on stage. And then when told, when people ask them where they're putting it, their answer is, oh, we don't know yet. Yeah. Cause they said another individual with knowledge of the situation pointed to why Muppets courtyard or grand Avenue as is court, uh, currently known would be more ideal. They already have a restaurant for Rizzo, so they could turn that into Harry Hazen's or something. And then they have Mama Melrose back there too, right? Well, they do, and then they, people were saying they were speculating about the sci-fi dining too. Yeah, God, that that would be a huge loss. So they have infrastructure Depends for- you ask. Yeah, yeah. Depends. <laughs> I, think, I think it's a plan A and a plan B. I think they're, they're looking at, and it's probably, I, I'm gonna be honest, I don't think it's going to come down to fan outrage as much as it's going to come down to logistics and cost. I would say, what's, which, which is cheaper? Which is cheaper. Which one can we reuse stuff more? Muppets. Muppets is cheaper because they, they already have the restaurants there. Mm -hmm. All they got to do is reskin them, right? They said chiefly there's already a faux city aesthetic yeah. in the area. Perfect for the uh, perfect for converting it to Monstropolis. It's a perfect way to stretch that $60 billion, said this individual. Um, yeah, which also includes additions to uh, international parks and beefing up the company. That money, that cruise we're ships. Yeah, the crew, the four cruise ships. There's, there's where most of the budget's going, and it's within the ten year pre period. That's where most of the money's going. Yeah, so they said it looks like it's probably going to be Muppet Vision. Yeah, there would be. They're they're right. There would be substantially more construction required to turn the Launch Bay area into Monstropolis. They already have a city scape. They do. Um, they already have restaurants. All they got to do is reskin it. And then you just uh, take out Star Tours and you take out Indiana Jones and the Muppet Theater becomes the entrance to the coaster. Kind of like kind of like we did with the Guardians of the Galaxy with the universe with energy yeah. the universe of energy. Right. It was they kept the, the show building, but then they built a bigger building behind it. And that's probably what they would do. They would just reskin the uh, Muppet Vision Theater and uh, turn it into the, just the entryway to the coaster. And I think that's terrible. Uh, I do. But that being said, all they're looking at is the foot traffic and Muppet Vision, unfortunately, is not popular. It's not a very popular attraction. Well, part of it is because they don't upkeep it very they much. Don't. They don't. And then I wasn't the, didn't they shut the store down? I mean, I, every time, last I time don't. we were there, it's been a while, but a lot, it might have opened it since. But last time we were there, the Muppets, the store they used to have, the gift shop, it's, yeah. it's was closed. Disney doesn't know what to do with the Muppets. And well, every I, time they try to do something with the Muppets, they do, do everything else and ruin it. They do. That, that first Muppet movie they did was actually pretty okay. And then they did the, uh, the adult Muppet show and Frank Oz even now, apparently they gave Frank Oz Disney legend status, but he called them out. Probably for so he'd shut up. Um, Disney is the same company that, that fired Steve Whitmire under very dubious circumstances. Uh, he was the, the new voice. Well, not new, but he was the voice of Kermit after Jim Henson died. And I thought he was actually really good. He definitely got the character, understood the character. I do not like Kermit's current voice. It's the guy from Sesame Street or whatever, but that did Murray. I don't, I don't think it sounds like Kermit. 
but that's just me. Anyway, it said if this replaces the animation courtyard, that's a neat addition. Yeah, right now it's just the launch bay. So it's like a big cavernous space with yeah, a bunch of Star Wars I mean, crap. Financially, I can see why they're doing it, but to, logistically, as far as, a, as like where people will be less likely to be pissed... And yeah. it leads into the other Pixar, so it relates, would be to put it in an animation courtyard. That would it would tie into the already the whole side of that. That's all Pixar. So yeah. it would just it would flow right into it. That makes the most sense. But we're gonna go out and look at some of the tweets for this, and we're gonna go out and look at some of the stories for the Rivers of America news because we have Disney influencers turning on Disney for these decisions. Welcome to the club. Welcome to the club, oh, guys. How long? We did it five or six years ago and they called us all kinds of names. We got sent their people after us. sent their people after us. Now everybody's like, yeah, Disney's really fallen off. Haven't they? I'm like, no what? Shit. You, you don't say, and none of this has helped their stock. Actually, their stock went down after D 23 because yeah. there's no excitement about any of this stuff. And all the stuff they announced, the villains land cars, Muppet Vision, Encanto, New Indiana Jones, Expanded Indiana Jones, all that stuff. You could have literally just opened a fifth gate well, and dumped a bunch of that crap into the fifth gate. What's funny to me is the only time their stock has gone up was when people thought Nelson Peltz was going to get a board seat. And as soon as it was clear that he wasn't, the stock plummeted. If Nelson Peltz and Jay Rizzullo got board seats, Jay Rizzullo especially because he worked under Eisner, this would not have happened. In fact, people are sure. I, I love I love this because I've been saying for years, Michael Eisner was so much better as a CEO of Disney and people fought me while well, he did the cheap cool. So I'm like, you know what? I'll take, take the uh, cheap cools over what they're doing. Uh, he respected the Disney legacy, right? He loved Disney. He loved Walt Disney. He loved the company. And now Bob Iger's coming in just defacing everything. Because he's trying to make it the Iger legacy. Iger land. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's Iger land. They should just have a freaking there, there you go, guys. There's your fifth gate. It's it's uh Bob Iger's Ipcot trademark, Ipcot Park, and you put a statue of Bob Iger in the middle of it. And uh there so we go. Wants. Is That's this a, is it Bob Iger current year or Bob Iger when he was a weatherman? Yeah, so kind of you want to get that in there. So I gave you a lead in. There you go. We have what was at one point in time the most creative company on earth, being run by a weatherman who not doesn't we're, have a. We're making a, we're making judgments against weathermen. It doesn't matter. He's not a creative. Make... He's not a creative. He basically lucked out, got the job, but he's not a creative. He doesn't have a creative bone in his body. All he's looking at are the numbers. He's just looking he at like acquires shit. He acquires and shit. Takes credit for it after they run it into the ground. But Disney Dan, Disney Dan is turning on them. He said the uh, the attraction is a living relic of a media empire. It's national treasure. It's the last bastion of Jim Henson's legacy. Thank you. It is the last thing that Jim Henson personally worked on. And they're just like, yeah, I'll just bulldoze it. Monsters. If that's what they're doing. We I'm ninety-five percent sure. Looking at that art. Oh no, I believe you because it makes them. It's the cheapest thing to do. It's the cheapest thing but to you do. Have, you have location B. I recommend going with a location B. And it could be that they're they're. Do you want to save face? Kind of feeling the the lay of the land here to you know get a feel of how Disney fans are going to react, but. At the end of the day, they don't care. It's about capacity. They want, and they just, they, they but just. There's no more capacity. Because here's the thing. I mean, I mean, yeah, a lot of people don't go to Muppet Vision, but like, it's the same footprint. Like, you're not adding more area. No, you're just going to make everything a lot more crowded. Again, the best thing would have been to build a fifth gate and dump a bunch of stuff into that fifth gate. But they even mentioned in this article, they said that Hollywood studios is a freaking mess. It's just a bunch of, it's just a mishmash. It's, it's, a mishmash. Of, it's true. I it's, thought that for weird it, it, for a while now. It's just like, we can't have, we can't have the great movie ride because you know, it's, it, it's just a bunch of different movies and stuff. And it doesn't really relate to the IP that Disney owns or whatever. But meanwhile, they just, everything else is just like, we'll slap that over there and slap this one over here and just, you know, slap that there, you know, and it's a matter of time to just reskin everything. Oh, look, we're going to make, you know, the rock and roller coaster, the Incredibles roller coaster, and then they're going to turn Tower of Terror into something else. Pixar. Yeah, yeah. But uh, it's, it's called it's called the well up until recently it would have been the Pixar box office ride. It's you go up the and you stock drop. drop, the Disney you know? stock drop. 
Do, 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 do. Yeah, uh, Disney Dance is the idea of perhaps one of the best pieces of American media that survived from the 90s that we still indulge in daily going away is really sad. And for what, a Monsters, Inc. sushi restaurant? Yeah, but Pizza Rizzo, not very, not very popular. But I, would that's argue the, I would argue the Muppets are more popular than Monsters, Inc., but that's just me. <sighs> and Cars, I think, is, I'm not saying these aren't popular, but they're old. And I think that... I don't think they have the staying power. And then the Cars is already, I think, long in the tooth. Yeah. Let's make a Cars land. That doesn't even make sense. You are 10. Like, a lot of these ideas feel, it does feel it like. John Lasseter. <laughs> yeah, it was John. <laughs> the Cars was John of. Lasseter's thing because he was a huge NASCAR fan, right? Well, so. the, he, Monsters, Inc. was under him, too. Yeah. It's just I feel, mean, it's all just his stuff. It's, the, it's Lasseter land. Nothing they announced. I'm saying here, like, other than Pandora, which is just a, another Pandora land, but like the Coco ride, that's been rumored ever since the movie came out. And actually, that concept art looks like it was for Florida and not for California. It feels like they just kind of reached into the, the garbage can or into the file cabinet and just pulled out a bunch of old ideas because most of what they talked about, they were, they were old rumors. There and it's well, yeah, older. that one is clear. It looks like it was it was the Coco overlay for yeah. the you know the one in Mexico the the Grand, Grand Fiesta, Fiesta tour. tour. Yeah, and that's what it looked like. It looked like that's what they were. That's what it was based on. And I think they're just what hurry. What can we pull out and slap up and we do cheap so we can say we're doing something because Epic Universe is going to kick our ass. That's exactly what I think this is. I think this is Look basically at the stocks up, guys. This is didn't. Yeah, it didn't. The stocks actually dropped after G23, and I think it was all about trying to just bullshit people into thinking they had a plan, a but legitimate people plan. People they're bullshitting, and, and people are and tired now they're just of it. pissing people off. They're just pissing people off, and and we've got uh, what the guy in charge of uh, engineering over at Universal saying that Epic Universe is actually going to be so much better than the models oh my God. and so much he better. He did a dig and it was so funny. It was like basically, I forget exactly wording, but he was doing a thing, breaking it down. Um, I guess the Orlando Sentinel had it. And he was talking about the different rides and what they were going to be based on different areas of the park. And he was making a comment about working on this. I guess they've been working on it for seven years. And at the end he said, you know how when you see you know, the blue sky artwork, and then you go and do it, and it looks great on paper, and then you do it, and it's not as good as the artwork. And he's like, well, don't worry. Ours is better than the artwork. And I thought that was funny, because I was thinking Communicore Hall and all that crap. I thought it was hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. It might not have been intended to be a slap against Disney, but... I, I'm sure it, there's a it, lot... It, 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 it definitely is. <laughs> a, lot of the people, a lot of the people working on Epic Universe and the people working on Harry Potter, they were former Disney Imagineers. And... and you can see this with uh, Dark Universe. You can, uh, this just felt like they were trying to do damage control, right? But I think you're actually going to chase off a lot of the longtime Disney fans. These are the people that have been going to the parks for decades. They have annual passes. They buy all kinds of merch. They have DVCs, whatever. And you're just chasing short-term gains. And you're going to destroy... What little is left of Walt and and now Jim Henson in the park? Like, what the hell are you doing? But yeah, they almost uh, shut Muppet Vision down before it started because even back then, Disney was going to Disney. There's a lawsuit between the two, and um, so it's amazing it got it actually happened. But yeah, people are people are furious. Uh, Muppet History. This is an account I follow on Twitter. I followed him for years. He's actually probably the best Muppet account out there, and. Everybody was kind of tweeting at him during D23. They're kind of like, oh, here it comes, here it comes. He's just waiting for it to drop, but he's not happy about it. Um, Phil here says Muppet Vision 3D has been reduced into a corner with theming removed and oozing charm reduced to blank walls. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah see the gift shop shutter for years. Yes, told yeah, you. Okay. Like the whole area seemed like they weren't up they weren't updating it or upgrading it or keeping it up like they were. Like I noticed that the store was gone and you walk other than the Muppets attraction and going out of Pizza Rizzo at one of the restaurants. And maybe the Christmas shop in the back. It was like, it just seemed like they weren't they weren't even trying anymore in that area. And I noticed that the last couple of times we were down there, and that was then. So it would not surprise me because when you start seeing they aren't trying anymore, that usually they're not doing it for a reason. Yeah, that that is the first indicator that they're thinking about shutting something down. They're they're basically like we're not going to throw good money after bad. We're not going to put any more money into it if it's if we're thinking about closing it. Uh, Drew Taylor, I think who wrote that article, said uh, the time's now. Circle the wagons. Rally the troops. Time to save Muppet Vision. Um, it's not going to matter. They tried to save Splash Mountain. It didn't matter. They look up their matter. mind. They don't care. Yeah, they said Muppet Vision is like Carousel of Progress or the Tiki Room, according to Park Lore, a project tied by an invisible string to its creator and timelessly beloved. It uh, Its fate shouldn't be in question. It should never be gone off the face of the earth. It closes it. If it closes it, WDW, 
at least we uh, it has to come to Disneyland Resort. Um, here's the thing. Yeah, they, they did with Carousel Progress. Yeah. Um, here's the thing. It's like the backlash to the the Rivers of America and uh, Tom Sawyer Island. They're not going to change that plan. They'll triple down on that. But it might be enough that they're like, oh shit, and then they might change it to Animation Courtyard and say that's what we always meant to do, guys. Honest. Uh, there, was, there was two plans, we yeah, swear. There so t- they might do it just to, cause, to save face because people are genuinely ticked about the Magic Kingdom. It's going to cost a lot more, though, and you might not get to build another cruise ship. Oh, my God. I know, right? Um, Cinema Blend is angry about it. Now, let's talk about how a lot of these Disney blogs are actually turning on them, not just for that, but also the Rivers of America, the Cars announcement. This is coming from the Diz. This is uh, actually owned by one of, if not the biggest travel agency, Disney Travel Agency. And it said, Walt Disney World is paving over Rivers of America to put up a parking lot. And they said this is not a good thing to do. Um, And they said, look, we love cars. We love cars land. We don't want it in Rivers of America. (laughs) Like you can put it someplace else. Uh, Disney Tourist blog, Tom Bricker. He said, you know, not everything. It's like it's one of the nice things about the Rivers of America is is a nice, mellow area of the park where you can get away from all the noise. It's beautiful, yeah. And it, it's serene and it's great for, you know, older folks or if kids need to decompress or if you have kids with sensory issues. And we kind of need that in a theme park as, as hectic as, as Magic Kingdom. But we're going we're gonna to pave it over and we're going to put loud, noisy cars in the middle. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And it's just like, and then beyond that, just the whole notion that this is this is a very um, American, Americana feeling area of the park. And there's a plaque up talking about Americana. And this is something that was very important to Walt Disney. And you're like, yeah, just throw some cars. Put some cars in there. And how long until they get rid of Main Street USA? Yeah, well, people are worried about that. Because they already have it. It's already Mickey Mickey Avenue, I guess, in Shanghai. Like, it's Toontown. Well, we don't have a Toontown Walt Disney World anymore because they, they tore it down to, to build uh, the fancy land. Who's to say they're not going to just be like, you know what, Main Street USA? Yeah, we really don't need it. Nobody cares. Turn of the century. That's old. Let's just yeah, turn it into it. To Mickey Town. One of the most iconic things, and everybody loves Main Street USA. Uh I don't even I don't even doubt it anymore because whatever whatever's the dumbest thing that'll piss off the most people is probably what they'll do. I, I Why just, is there stock down, guys? I don't understand. I, I cannot cannot defend this company. I mean, I've I've look, I haven't been defending this company for a while, right? But Shove like, IP in it, make them pay, make it lame. Oh my god, that's that's pretty much it. Like I I just don't. I am so. Like, I didn't think I was going to be that because, look, it's, you know, just Tom Sawyer Island. I get, but it's not just Tom Sawyer Island. It's not just Muppet Vision. It's the whole thing. No, here's what it's about. Um, if we have those new attractions, people will pay more for Genie Plus. And That's then they'll exactly pay for individual about. lightning lanes and think about all the money we can make from all the people wanting to ride the Monsters Inc. coaster and the Cars attraction. Arpu, and, arpu, arpu. And they'll and how much they'll pay if yeah. we don't count that you know, we make that like you make that a uh, virtual queue only or you paid lightning lane and they're gonna pay out the nose for it. That's what it's about. Disney is a disgusting company motivated purely by profit. They don't even like they, those two things. Yeah, make have, no mistake about that one, guys. We've been telling you that for years. And I mean, we can we can go down different rabbit holes of you know politics or whatever. But this is this is a purely a cash grab for a company that is losing itself. Like it's losing it. The reason Disneyland exists is because Walt. Walt wasn't thinking profit when he built Disneyland. He almost lost the company. He almost lost his his personal. His house, his his insurance, he almost lost everything to build Disneyland because he wanted to do it. Because he wanted to, you know, people told me he couldn't do it. And he's like, no, watch me. I'm going to do it. <laughs> My mom always said, if you want me to do something, tell me I couldn't do it. And I'd, I'd be like, oh, watch me do it. Yeah, but I'm the same way. I was thinking about people <laughs> that we knew, like, that we've talked to or worked in Disney, especially ones that were higher up at Disney or different, different Disney legal or whatever. And a lot of them, like, left because they said they couldn't take it anymore because the it was, it was underhanded bullshit yeah and it was just like they keep saying we're family we're all company we're all about family no, and it's not. like no they're not they're they're greedy and they're underhanded and they're shit and that's why a lot of them quit uh people were making comparisons well they're talking about the uh the walt disney animatronic and people were making comparisons to ratatouille the gusto being oh, used yeah. 
you know, it was kind of the, the mascot of the restaurant, but it wasn't actually his restaurant anymore. And that's 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 how it feels. It feels like the Walt Disney Company is parading around the the corpse of Walt Disney when it's that convenient. You were excited about that, though. I was, but now I'm like, not not the cost of defacing the rest of the park. And we don't know what Walt Disney is going to say. We have no idea. I mean, it's it's like well, it's, no, oh, 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 what he's going to say at the thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so you don't know what he's going to say because he's dead. But yeah, yeah. He's AI he's, is going to make Walt say what. That is exactly it. They're they're gonna he, they're gonna turn they're turning Walt Disney into Colonel Sanders. He's <laughs> just a mascot. <laughs> AI. And they're going to be like, okay, so you could ask what questions, and then the AI will answer. Oh no, oh no, I I just I can't anymore. I can't I can't defend what do you it. Think about Bob Iger. Bob Bob Iger is brilliant. He's a sexy beast. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> I don't know. Walt Bob voice. Iger is a weatherman who got lucky, and he doesn't have a creative bone in his body, and all he wants to do is is juice this. This park and make acquire, sure acquire borg it and take credit for acquire, it. Acquire borg it, take credit for mismanage it. Mismanage it. Mismanage it. Make sure all the the IP that's getting shoved into the parks now it's all stuff that that was under his watch. He wants to build a monument to himself, and um, that's that's disgusting. It's disgusting. Are we gonna wrap it up? Yes. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. We'll talk later. Bye.